Hey guys, it's me, Sam. Welcome back to another video this week or this month. I apologize for being late. I know I have part two of what's sold in July. There's some problems with the clips. I'm trying to figure it out, but I've been working a lot. I filmed it. I just haven't edited it. I think I'm gonna have to refilm it, but that's a different story. I did not forget about you. I've been super busy with work. I go back to school tomorrow. I'm sorry I'm such a mess and I'm jumbled, but I'm here and I'm ready. We're gonna get right into this. Everything I'm gonna show you was from today's thrift haul. I went to two thrift stores in Burlington, which is like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross kind of place. So my mom found this little Chicago Bulls like fake jersey and we got it on sale for $2.99. So we picked it up. Not everything I pick up I'm going to tell you the price on just due to me selling it. And if you want something I don't want you to feel scammed out of money or try to lowball me etc etc. But some things I don't mind telling you or if you're really interested feel free to comment below. I might tell you if you're nice about it. Then I got a pair of all white Adidas equipments. They're a kid size 7. They look like they'd almost fit me and I'm about a 9. I think I have a kid size 8 in my closet and they fit me fine. So I think these are what, I feel like these are a woman's like seven and a half, eight. All white equipments. Got these for a steal and they're new. Then I got this guest t-shirt stripes with the triangle guest logo. I thought this was just real crisp with clear. So that's all I got at Burlington. I saw Michael Kors, I saw Vineyard Vines, Adidas, Guess. They had a lot of brands there. Like I said, they had a lot of stuff there. So if you have a Burlington around you, feel free to check it out. Then there's a whole pile next to me. This is all from a Salvation Army near me that a lot of people trash, but I love it. I love Salvation Army. This is my favorite thrift store price-wise. Second favorite with what comes in the store. I got these women's Under Armour crop leggings. I don't know if you could see that. The pattern was pretty dope. And then it has the fold down thick Under Armour band. So I thought those were pretty cool. They look brand new. They're my size. We know what that means. These women's Nike Pro, they're long, but they're the super cool pattern. Probably paid too much for them, but Nike Pros always go pretty well for me. Then I found this vintage Adidas long sleeve. It's kind of faded, but I liked how it was like royal blue and I kind of liked the graphic on it. I thought it was dope. I haven't found really any long sleeve Adidas shirts lately, so I picked it up. This is pretty pricey, but I thought it was too cool to pass up. This Nike graphic, I like how the Nike's like elongated and it's like, it just, it's not just a check on a shirt, you know what I'm saying? I just thought it was unique, so I picked this up. Then I grabbed this Adidas tank. It's like almost brand new. I have another one similar to this. I'm gonna recurry in Poshmark. I have a stash pile to start listing around February for spring break season, so I might add this in there. Then I got this fraternity long sleeve, ATO. My friend's boyfriend's in this, so I picked it up for her. Then I found this vintage Nike t-shirt. I don't know if you could see it. It's essentially brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. It feels new. It doesn't feel like it's ever been worn. But I'm really into the Nike stuff lately that isn't just like a big check. I still bought some today, you'll see. But I'm really into the different stuff because I realize the stuff that's Nike that isn't just a big check sells for more money and faster than a big check. Then I got this Nike t-shirt. I got it for 99 cents. So even if I sell the Summer Kari for $5, which is the lowest you could sell something, I still make $3.50 profit on it. So pick that up. Then I got this Nike hoodie. It's, I thought it was more vintage, but it's not, but it's in like new condition. Kind of want to keep it for myself, but I know I shouldn't, so I think I'm going to list it, but if it doesn't sell, I might cop. This was only five bucks. If you keep up with me, I've been getting into kids stuff more, just because it's cheaper and for back to school, it sells fast. And let me tell you, Little Kids Under Armour, like that. If you find a Little Kids Under Armour shirt for less than $4 at Thrift, pick it up because you could sell it for eight, nine, ten dollars $10 in 20 minutes. You could sell it for $14, $15 if you sit on it a little bit. But I found this little kid's Adidas logo top. It was a buck. If I sell it for $5 to Mercari, I make three fifty dollars profit, so. Okay, as I was speaking of the big check, I found this Nike long sleeve with just a big check on it. But I thought the color of the shirt was unique, and Nike long sleeves sell good for me. If this was a t-shirt, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but since it was a long sleeve, I picked it up. And then I got this Taylor Swift's Red Tour t-shirt. It was a dollar. Um, I kind of want to keep it for me, but... If I list it and someone buys it, they buy it. Taylor Swift's big, and this was her best album. No tea, just back. Like I said, I go with my mom. She does her thing, I do my thing. She looks for me, and I look for her. Kind of look out for each other. She doesn't resell, but she likes to buy stuff from the thrift. But like I said, she was still looking. I walked over to her to show her what I had, and she throws me this shirt with a hanger. I'm like, what the heck? It's this, like, ugly green shirt. And I see the tag, and I was like, oh! We found a gem, like, let's start looking through stuff and get going. We had a long day ahead of us. And then I look over, and there's this pattern. I just had this feeling in me that I knew what that pattern was. And then next to it was another one. Digging through this rack to find this. 
we found a couple things. So just a Lily Pulitzer green shirt. It's a size small. Nothing fancy to it. If I, I would have passed this right up, I wouldn't have even looked at the tag if I was on that rack. So good thing my mom was there. I saw this pattern just, just like this. And I go, hmm. And lo and behold, I looked. And there it was. Lo and behold, there this was sitting there. This is a woman's size medium. Cop this so fast. I've never found Lily before. Fun fact. The green shirt was enough for me. Like I was satisfied. Then I found that. And then, <laughs> this is also a woman's size medium. Then I found this. And then I found this. It's again another woman's size medium, so someone must have donated all their stuff. For me, that was super cool because I've never seen Lily before. When you're a reseller, it's a mile. When you find your first piece of Lulu, you remember exactly what store it was and where you were and how you felt. It's my second to last day home. I work all day tomorrow, so my mom and I spend the day together. So we went to another thrift store. This is just a local one that if you follow me a little bit back, the Nike Windbreaker I found the black Tommy Hilfiger skirt, all that stuff was at this thrift. And my mom and I kind of forgot about this thrift and I'm kind of mad at myself because we went today and I found a ton of good stuff. Their prices were incredible. I think today is their sale day. All tags but one were 75% off and their prices are pretty low anyways. So I got some steals. Besides the 75% off most items, they had tables of kids clothes, which like I said, I'm trying to get into kids clothes right now. They're selling pretty well for me. The table was 25 cents a piece, 25 cents an item, no matter what the item was. We had some fun with that. So my mom found these kids, Chicago Bulls, Adidas basketball shorts. Then we found these kids, Under Armour shorts. I don't know where the Under Armour, yeah, it's right there. Then we found these Adidas Oklahoma City Thunder basketball shorts. Then we found this, this Adidas t-shirt. Then we found these Lakers shorts, LeBron. Miss ya. Then my mom found this Tommy t-shirt, little boy's Tommy shirt. Then she found this boy's Nike t-shirt. Then we found this Lacoste crew neck. Then she found this, which I wish was in my size. I'm not sure if it's a boy small or a unisex small. You be the judge. Oh, <laughs> there's a back. You be the judge. But this vintage Cavs Shaquille O'Neal jersey long sleeve. You got the print on the side. This is dope and I wish it was my size. Then we found this LeBron Witness shirt. Everything I'm showing you is 20% right now. My mom was digging through the clothes and was finding all these baby clothes. She's like, you should just get some of the 25 cents, make a bundle out of it. I have a lot of random baby clothes I'm gonna make bundles with. Found this little Puma jumpsuit. I don't know where any of these go. A bunch of pants and onesies. Look at this one, mommy's little tiger. Just know there's a bunch of cute little stuff. It's all gonna go in a bundle. Boys little Nike shorts. Then I found these Adidas soccer shorts, I'm assuming. They look like soccer shorts. Basketball shorts, I don't know. Then I found these boys Tommy, look at the little Tommy, athletic shorts. I thought those were a steal. Just a little Carter's little striped shirt, again a bundle. Then I found this little girl's Nike shirt, 25 cents. Another little Puma onesie with the Puma up there. Little Tiger onesie, the bottoms. I saw this and I was like, mom, that's cute. And she's like, get it for 4th of July. So I'm saving this for 4th of July next year. If you want it now, let me know. I think that's all the kids clothes except this. Got our cart full of stuff, went and sat down at a table, figured it all out put all the outfits together that we wanted, put the clothes back we didn't, we're walking back up. My mom said something about the girls' table. She didn't look through it. The Adidas shorts are right on top. I'm like, oh, cool. Let me just dig and see if any more boy stuff's in it. Saw so this pattern and I had that feeling in myself again. I was like, wait a second. Never so fast did I pick something up. It's this girl's Lily Pulitzer dress. Girl size 12. Look how stinking cute this is. Who would donate this? And then all this stuff, I'll tell you the price of it. Then you could do the 75% off math if you want. I got this Columbia long sleeve. It's a medium. I don't know if there's a certain name, but it just looked really sharp and clean. It was $4.50 and it was like a dollar. It was like a dollar 13, I think it was. Size large Oklahoma pullover. This was $5.50, but 75% off. But this was like brand new. Then I found this Tommy Hilfiger long sleeve. It's an extra large. I want to keep it for myself, but I know I shouldn't. But what was this? $1.13. Then, like I said, I wasn't going to get Nike, like just swooshes and stuff. But I got this Nike shirt for like a dollar. So why not, you know? Then I have this American ACDC shirt. I had an R ACDC shirt earlier that I got for 50 cents and it sold like in a day. So I picked this one up because it's American. This is cool. Then I got this large polo t-shirt. I only picked it up because the colors of it. It's like a purpley pink with this teal. Again, probably a dollar. I don't think I paid more than a dollar fifty for any of the items I got. 
Then I got this vintage Miami Hurricanes crew neck. It's like three different tones. I don't know how many get close. It's like dark and then you can see the line, light, and then like white. And I didn't see stains on it in super good condition. Kind of want to keep it for myself, but I don't need it. I have so many clothes. This was $1.13. Look how cool that is. That concludes my hauls. We did two thrift stores and then Burlington. The whole day we spent less than 150 on all the stuff we got. And out of everything we got for the day, less than 150 for everything. I think that was a pretty good win for the day. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. When I get back to school, I'm gonna have so much more time to make videos and more time for reselling stuff. So just stick with me. Thank you so much for watching. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked what I got. Give it a thumbs down if you think I paid too much for everything I got. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. So pull me closer, why don't you pull me close? Why don't you come on over? I can't just let you go. Oh, baby. Why don't you just meet me?